In an Excel pivot table, you can create calculated fields with special formulas. And in this pivot table, all of these ones in the middle are calculated. And then I've got units and total that are just regular fields in the data area. After you put those calculated fields in, it's easy enough to remove them manually. Right click and remove it. But if you try and make a macro to do that, you'll just see an error. So I'm going to record a macro while I manually remove this and you'll see what happens. So to turn on the macro recorder, I'll click there and I'll just call this test one. It's saved in this workbook. Now I'll right click, remove it, and stop the recorder. I'll put that field back and then I'll try and run that macro that I just recorded. So on view, macros, test and I'll run that. And it gives me a runtime error. It's unable to set the orientation property of the pivot field class. So I'll debug that and we'll see what it looks like. So the macro was just one row, and it's the active sheet, that pivot table name, the sum of tax new. It tried to change the orientation so it was hidden. And that just doesn't work when we try and run it, we get the error. So whether you record this macro or try and build it yourself, you're just going to get that error if the field that you're trying to remove is a calculated field, this exact code will work for regular fields, but not the calculated fields. So to use a macro to get rid of a calculated field, we have to use a different approach. And we're going to hook into this values field that's created. You can see it here. You can also see it in the pivot table fields list. It creates this values field if you have more than one field in the values area. So we can use that and use one of the items in that field and set that item visible property to false. So as long as you've got more than one value in the values area, this field will appear and we'll be able to use that technique to remove the calculated fields. So I'm going to show you the code that we're going to use. So I wasn't able to record it. I had to write it and you can download this from my website. There'll be a, a link below. So here's the code. I've named it remove all calculated fields. And that's true unless you only have calculated fields in the pivot table values area, because it won't be able to remove that last one if that's the case, because that values field will disappear. So as long as you've got one other regular field in there, this will work just fine. And I've set up some variables. And this is going to be using the pivot table where your cell is selected. So the active cell pivot table. And we're going to check first and just make sure you do have a pivot table cell selected. Otherwise, the macro will just end. So what it does is for each pivot field in the pivot tables calculated fields, it's going to loop through each data field in the pivot table data fields and see if the names match. So if the source name for the data field is the same as the name for this pivot field, then take that data field and go to its parent, which is that values field, and find the item with the same name as this pivot field and set the visible to false. And once it's found it, then it'll exit that four and go on to the next pivot field in the calculated fields. So I'm going to close this window and we'll run that macro and see what happens. So here's our table and we've got those two fields that are regular fields and all of these should disappear when we run the macro. So I'm selecting any cell in here, go to view macros, and here's my macro that we just looked at. I'll run that. And now we just have our two fields left and all the calculated fields were removed without any error.
For more Excel tips and tutorials, and to download the sample file for this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.